Dr. Robert Cho. He is the lead hospitalist at the Hogue Orthopedic Institute in Irvine. Dr. Cho, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It is a pleasure. So today we're going to be talking about, we, you know, we've talked with a couple of people at Palm Terrace, mm -hmm. and now we're talking to you who, you're in the hospital, right? That's, That's correct. Talking. So what's a, day, what's a day in the life of Dr. Cho? What do you do? Oh, we're very busy. Um, unfortunately, when we see patients, they're at their sickest. Mm -hmm. These are patients that have chronic disease and they have flare-ups of their medical problems and they're so sick that their primary care doctor can't take care of them, mm -hmm. so they require hospitalization and we're the doctors that typically will take care of them while they're in the hospital. Um, the typical day in the life is you get there in the morning, you see all your admissions overnight, you check the computer, look up all their data, and um, then you start making your rounds. You go around, you see each patient, you examine them, and uh, you give them an update on their conditions, you update their families, and probably most importantly, you just update their primary care doctor because okay. they are always in the loop when uh, we take care of their patients in the hospital, and they really appreciate that feedback. Okay, that's really great. That was one of my questions. So you're like a liaison between the patient in the hospital and their primary care physician. Yeah, I would say we're maybe a little more than a liaison, possibly maybe a better term is uh, like a facilitator. A facilitator. Yeah, 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 that is a better way to say that. Right. So let's say that I'm going in for a hip replacement. Mm -hmm. um, I go into the hospital, and then when would I see you? You would see me on the day that you get admitted to the hospital. Okay. We usually see patients in a consultative fashion. So we'll talk to the patients, go through their medical history, uh, make sure that uh, they have everything they need. Then they'll typically have their surgery, and then we'll follow them every day throughout their entire hospitalization. And once they get to the point of discharge, um, we help to determine what the disposition is going to be, whether they can go home safely, or in some cases, if they need additional care, then a lot of times they will uh, be recommended to go to a rehabilitation facility. Oh, okay. Like Palm Terrace, like we're like talking Palm about. Like Palm Terrace, exactly. Okay. Which is one that we work very closely with. In fact, um, that's kind of the area that uh, the inpatient physicians have been looking at more recently, and okay. we actually have a team that uh, rounds at Palm Terrace and some of the other facilities Oh, in the area. wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. So you can get that kind of intense, intensive care Absolutely. right at Palm Terrace. Absolutely. And the continuity part of it is very important, too, because we see the patients in the hospital. We see them in the post-acute care setting as well. Mm -hmm. and we know exactly what's going on with them from start to finish. Oh, wow. That is that is a lot more than I thought was going on behind the scenes. That's mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah. So how do you make the, ter the determination um, between whether somebody is ready to go home or whether somebody needs additional support? Yeah, that's um, it's a multidisciplinary approach. There's a lot of people that follow the patients when they're in the hospital, including the physicians. Um, the important players are a lot of times the physical therapists, case managers. They all are part of the decision-making process. Okay. So if the patient isn't strong, enough, they don't have good enough balance, uh, they don't have the resources at home that makes it safe for them to go there, then a lot of times those are the patients that will be recommended to go to a rehab facility. Okay, well that's really good information to know. All right, well thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Cho. I really appreciate your expertise and helping to educate me on, on how to do this. Thank you.